Welcome to the next segment in our Day in the Life series. In this series, we are covering the details of how to be a successful SolidWorks PDM administrator. In this episode, we'll take a look at two different methods of setting up a vault view on a user's PC. Before creating the vault view, we need the SolidWorks PDM client installed. If you need help installing the client software, take a look at another episode in this series called Installing the PDM Client. Also, it's best to set up a vault view using a Windows account that has local administrator rights, since some of the options that we'll be enabling require it. On the PDM side of things, we need an account that we can use to log in and make sure that the vault view works correctly. To set up the vault view, we'll head to the Windows Start menu, go to the Programs folder, and we're going to look for the SolidWorks PDM folder. Inside of this folder, there's a utility called View Setup. We're going to go ahead and right click on that, click on More, or run as administrator. Depending on your user account controls, you might be required to log in at this point with Windows credentials. In this case, we'll just have to select Yes. At this point, the welcome screen will appear. From here, we could just select Next. It's possible that your archive server doesn't show up on this list and the list is blank. If this happens, we can add the server name manually. Go ahead and click Add. We'll type in the server name from here. I'm going to click OK. If you get a screen like this, you'll need to enter Windows credentials that allow you to connect to the archive server. I'll go ahead and enter my credentials now. After you are connected to the archive server, you should see the server listed and the status should read connected. Go ahead and click next. At this point, you can select one or multiple vaults to create the views at this time. In our case, I'm going to select this first one and select next. On this select location screen, we need to tell the setup wizard where to add the vault view. Because of folder path, character limits, and windows, it's best to place the view in the root of a local drive, preferably the C drive. At the bottom, you have options for who can access the vault view. By selecting the only for me option, this makes it so only users logged in with your Windows credentials will be able to access the vault view. So if this PC is shared, maybe in a conference room or a common area, I'm going to need to select this for all users of this computer. If I'm setting this and sharing this machine, it makes even more sense to keep the location of the vault view at the root of the C drive. Additionally, if I use this for all users of this computer option, I'm required to have local admin rights to do the setup. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and leave mine set for all users on this computer, and we'll leave the location set to the C drive. I'm going to go ahead and select Next. On this Review Action screen, it's going to warn us if there's any errors or issues. Um, if there are issues that you can't figure out, contact the technical support team here at Inflow uh, to help you through those issues. If there are no errors, we'll go ahead and hit Finish. This next window is just a confirmation that the setup is completed. Uh, from here, we'll go ahead and hit Close. So now we'll head to the root of the C drive and log in. You'll notice that the uh, vault has a little icon next to our vault name. Um, sometimes we call this icon the PDM Blueberry, or the vault icon, or the PDM icon. Um, either way, we're going to double click on this folder and we will get a pop-up that asks us for our PDM user credentials. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and enter my credentials and log in. Sometimes when we log in for the first time, we may get an issue where we can't see the file and folder view area. This is really just a window resizing issue. Uh, to fix this problem, we'll just grab this bar. Uh, you'll see where my cursor changes to uh, the expansion icon. We'll pull it down, and this should show us our folder selections here. The second method of connecting a vault view is going to be found in our administration tool for PDM. I'm going to open up the uh, Windows button, find my PDM folder, 
and open up the administration tool. As you can see, I have another vault here. Um, I have only added the vault view for this top one. Uh, the second one I'm gonna add right here from the tool. I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and select create local view. At this point, I need to select where I would like to locate my vault view. Um, again, we're gonna go ahead and place this at the root of the C drive uh, for ease of access. I get the option to allow other users access, or I could say no and reserve the vault just for my Windows user account on this machine. For this one, I'll say yes again. It's gonna bring up the user account control. At this point, I'll say yes. Go ahead and log in with my admin account. And now you can see the folders and the files that are located in my vault. So once we have our vault view set up, there's a few things we like to go back and configure. Inside of the Windows Explorer options, we like to set the detail level in this view to details instead of medium icons. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set this for the entire vault and get it to stay no matter what folder we're in. First thing we wanna do is go to the root of our vault. Make sure we're at the root of the vault by clicking on this PDM Blueberry. We're gonna go up to the more options for our change our view. Select details. And as you can see, we can now have more information about our files and folders that are in our vault view. Also, this column set can be customized to meet the needs of your team members. Now that we've changed our view settings, we're gonna go and make this applicable to all the folders in our vault. So from here, we're gonna select organize, options, view, and I'm gonna click apply to folders. This is gonna give me a little warning that says, do you want all the folders of this type to match this folder's view setting? Go ahead and click yes. Click okay to exit the menu. And now all the folders that we go into will have the same layout um, for our view settings. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is enable some options in our eDrawings preview. Go ahead and open up the vault view again. This time I'm gonna maximize the whole window. And what I wanna do is enable some options inside of this eDrawing preview window. To enable the tools, I'm gonna to go to display, scroll down to options, and find the show full user interface in SolidWorks preview. I'm gonna tick the box next to that option, and now I should get um, a new set of tools that pop up inside of the eDrawings preview. These tools allow me to measure, to switch between standardized views, change my perspective or shaded views um, inside of the eDrawings preview. 